Happy, happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. So we're back this week with Here's the Deal with Sean and Sherelle Mitchell. And our topic, our foundation, is what we're going to be talking about today. Foundation. Foundation. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Hey, we had a great day today. We, we did. We did. So, Service was great today. Singing, singing and teaching. And, uh, yes, yes, as, yes. Uh, as uh, Brother Hayes used to always say, we out uh, preaching and teaching. When well, no, yes. they would say singing and teaching. Something singing like that, and teaching. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but it's it's a. Uh, I was glad that you guys were here. I know this is Sunday. We normally this would be on a Saturday, but uh, it was a lot going on yesterday, and uh, so we had to do it today. Yes. Yes. So let's just dive right in, Mr. Mitchell. Foundation. Foundations. What is the importance of foundation? It's funny that this this week in summer camp, we talked a lot about foundation um, and about how we were raised as children and how we miss the things we did as a child. Mm. Um, and we did find out that a lot of foundational things as far as it pertains to raising children, um, those things are just not happening now. Do you? Why do you think that is, Mr. Mitchell? You know... Um... To piggyback on a post that um, I did this week on Facebook, okay, and I was talking about. Can you guys hear me? Okay, um, we talked about parents allowing children to listen to anything, so-called musically, watch videos. Stuff. I'm talking about the children from age, you know, like three to like 14 years old. Mm. And that was something um, um, that we just we, we didn't, didn't allow. We, oh. we, we believe it or not, we were young parents at once as well. We were in our twenties, you know, and there's no shade on anyone in your twenties. But I just all I like to do is share experiences of what we did, and if if it helps, hey, blessings. I hope it does. So here, here's what we did. I tell this. Remember, you remember this story? Our third son. There was a movie out at the time called You Got Served. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. And we would tell our older sons, he can't watch that. He's not old enough yet. But, but yeah, but 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 tell how we got to that point. I mean, it was, uh, oh, it's recording. Okay. Okay. So so check this out. So the movie You Got Served, though this, that's not familiar with You Got Served, it was uh, um, um, Amari, uh, Amarion. Was, I don't know, but it was, was, a, it was the, imma, the immature guy. It was the uh, the guys right, from Immature, right, and right. then they changed the name to something out later on. But anyway, they had a movie. Uh, they were really hot at one time. This was like um, um, early late late nineties. Late nineties. No, yes. couldn't have been because Jared. Well, well, the movie the was movie put out was in the late nineties, but was by the time he watched it, yeah, he's one two thousand. So yeah. okay, so he started having this just erratic behavior. Like he would. Um, Started to be violent, right? You know, and he he was always you know had, walking with, with with a swag like he was angry all the time, you know, and and so we had, <laughs> and we're back. I <laughs> apologize for that. We've got the grandson today, and uh, he was kind of getting fussy, so I wanted to get him sleep. So anyway, um, again, thanks everyone for joining in with us. Uh, as I was saying, we. Normally do this on a Saturday, but uh, uh, on a Sabbath, but we end up doing it today. We were out, uh, as I said, I was little, we used to do this stuff. We used to go around and, and sing at different churches and everything. And uh, our director, uh, Elder Hayes, used to always say we're out teaching and singing, uh, preaching and singing. And that's what we've been doing today. But we definitely wanted to get this in before the week hit because we had a topic that we wanted to talk about, and that was foundation. Um uh, Sherelle and I, as a lot of you know, we work with children on a daily basis, uh, Monday through Friday primarily, um, and on the weekends we're out doing different things, uh, evangelizing, or, uh, being co-laborers with Christ, as I like to call it. And um, foundation is what we always talk about. Uh, taught thousands of children how to read in the community, and reading is a foundation. Mm -hmm. And um, so we were telling you about our son, our third son, Jiren, uh, when he was little, I think he was like four, mm -hmm. and he um, he was watching a movie 
um, called You Got Served. And You Got Served was, you know, it was a dance movie. So, you know, as young younger parents, we thought it was okay. We were actually older by then because, you know, he, like I said, he was the third son. And so we figured it would be okay for him, but he started showing some um, behavior that was out of character for him. And it was very um, violent type of, uh, <laughs> it's so funny, just think about it, it was funny. So he would always, you know, he was he would address people like, you're like, what? And all that kind of stuff, four, he's four years old. So I'm just observing him and I'm like, mm -hmm. hmm, why is, he, why is he acting like this all of a sudden? So I got to just kind of sit, sitting back and paying attention to him, and um, he was getting ready to watch, watch this movie. As soon as he was putting in the videotape, and we had VCRs back then, and I noticed his demeanor changing as the movie was beginning to start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I went over and pressed pause. <laughs> <laughs> I said, come here, Jaron, let, let's talk for a minute. So I mm -hmm. explained to him what was going on in the movie and the dance. We used to have a lot of dance battles back in the day and all that kind of stuff. And this is a movie like that. Right. So, but, but that's long story short, but that was one of the, um, the things that really told me and let us realize as parents that uh, we have to critique what our children are taking into their senses. You know, mm -hmm. um, what you put in is what you get out. And so sometimes, you know, we may think we're not putting, allowing them to put in things that's not good for them, but we have to make sure we're understanding where their mentality is at that particular time in their lives. Some seven-year-olds may re, uh, react differently from another seven-year-old. They may get things, others, others may not, but it's as a parent, it is our responsibility to make sure that they're getting what they need, what we want them to have from whatever. Yeah. And um, that post was coming from uh, uh, something I saw. I was searching for something that was on Google and um, a video popped up with uh, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. And the video was just, I mean, 80% of the video wasn't portraying men and women. It was portraying all the stuff that's out here today and to each his own. You know, I have nothing against what another man does, but, you know, but I'm not going to go around teaching a child as you said earlier today, I'm not going to teach a child how to steal. Yes, is there right and the sin is a sin is a sin, as everyone says, but I'm not going to do that. You know, so I don't think you should be teaching a boy how not to be a man. 